How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and these are my dogs, Rodney and Camper Delventhal. For over three years, we lived in a Toyota Prius, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. We would be so thankful. Last week we start our drive west where we have to get 1,000 miles in just 72 hours and it does not start smoothly. Well, I just got a message from Alex and she said that she could smell some type of coolant or oil leak from the van. Um, something that I didn't notice this morning, but the fact that she did, I think we should check this out. We check, but we cannot figure it out. Doesn't seem to be any fluid levels. Well, I guess forward march until we get to a town anyways, because no one's coming out on this dirt road, as it seems. The decision was questionable at the time, but because the leak was so slow, we decided to keep on trucking. After safely getting to the main road, we did notice a very weird smell coming from another part of the van. This got my gears grinding on what the potential issue could be. I don't know. We might not know until we get to where we're going, but whatever. So we continued to hightail towards our destination and some of our favorite trusted mechanics. As we drive here, not on the brakes, I do hear some type of rubbing from the front. So it does sound like something's going on. We pass through Utah where we run some necessary errands and finally make it to Nevada where we would rest for the evening and see what the next day brings. Uh, good morning. Good morning, boys. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> but I also want to wake up because I don't want to do anything in a heat wave. And there's a cool spot 30 minutes from here that I want to stop at on the way. All right, let's make some coffee. Whew, it got cold last night. Also, I need to figure this out. Oh, I haven't looked in the mirror yet. Should I? Oh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be sleeping on wet hair. We're wearing a hat today for sure, though. All right, while we make coffee, it is cold. And for some reason, my heat's not working, so cool. At least it's summer. <laughs> Look, the grinder doesn't catch anymore. I mean, this thing lasted for three years, but freak. I don't have any pre-ground. I guess it's a coffee shop kind of morning. Oh man, what a bummer. I wonder... Oh, it's working. I, I can't stop because it might never work again after this one moment. Horden. What a beautiful morning. All right, boys, let's eat. And then we have some fun activities on the agenda. This morning has kind of just been, we're actually, this whole adventure has been, is this going to break? Are you going to freak out? Oh, cool. You passed the scumbag test. We'll just make it keep working. It's just like borderline breaks because the car is doing fine now. I don't know, man. Dog food. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Um, so we have an appointment at Mercedes after all and it's on friday so now we have two days to get back um which is great they were like so amazing and just snuck us right in so kudos to them but that means we got to do the final 400 miles today bon appetit boys to our first pit stop excuse me <laughs> thank you sir <sighs> i'm ready i'm feeling good I'll explain more about this area uh, after our first stop because it is absolutely incredible. Uh, but first we have a stop about 15 minutes down the road at Garnet Hill. It says this is the way. Huh. All right, let's go off-roading, babies. Wow, lots of abandoned homes and very ghost town vibe. Oh yeah, the van is getting scratched up today. 
All right, if you can see through all the bug splatter, we're going kind of back through these hills here. See what we can find. I'm gonna have to order a bunch of equipment, but I read that there's a lot of garnet and it's legal to rock hound and all that around here. Oh, cars fell, whoa. This is the first moment I should have realized this was a bad idea before all the other problems. Well, yeah. I'll be honest, you guys, this is pretty fun. Also, pretty sure. Oh, that does not smell good. <laughs> uh oh, but pretty sure we're gonna find some garnet all along in here. Holy moly. Oh my God, this is where people have gotten stuck. I can see it. Oh shoot, we're stuck. Just for visual, we are like on a really steep hill and I'm stuck in a little sand. Woo, don't fall. And I'm stuck in that little sand patch there, but I wanna make sure this doesn't get too gnarly right now. Let's see. Oh yeah, we should be fine. It's just really steep. Well, we did it, but certainly not as smoothly as I was hoping. Nobody blogged about this. I, don't know, I guess we'll see where Google Maps is taking us. Scratch. Oh, here comes another one. Whoops. All right, so I just looked on Google Maps and uh, can confirm Google Maps took us to the, to the wrong spot. But honestly, I'm not even mad about it because this is dope. And uh, maybe we'll rock hound here anyways. Uh, also, there's a lot of downed cars. There's a car flipped right there, upside down. There's a car over here. <laughs> I mean, this is so cool, but we might, you know, maybe get out, turn around, and then go to the right spot after, unless we find Garnet. Yeah, we might turn this into a hike. Uh, so yeah, you know what? Forward march, I guess. Uh-oh. Wow, during this whole drive, you just see downed cars and scraps of metal, and I'm pretty sure I just got a flat tire. Uh-oh. Yep, mama got a flat tire, so we're gonna go somewhere safe to switch it. <gasps> we have to get somewhere flat and safe, because you can hear it. Come on. <sighs> okay, so right now I'm keeping an eye on the tire pressure and going to slowly drive out of here and just keep filling up the tire so we can get to the main road and get help if we need it. Because I have an onboard air system that will keep us safer. Okay, we're at 44 psi, 43. Oh, we're losing it fast. Four. Okay, we're at about 28. I'm gonna fill this back up. Let's turn on the air. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got a leak. Holy. Oh, we've got more than a leak. All right. I know I have a tire patch kit somewhere in here too, to at least get out of here to somewhere safe. Right, let's see if my tire repair kit is enough. Nope, this is not gonna be enough. Nope. We're just gonna keep filling it up and praying. That's just how it works, right? Thank God for onboard air systems. Today is gonna be a lot of back and forth, but at least it's a slow leak for now. Here we go. What an adventure, huh? All right, we gotta move quickly. Okay, 53, let's move. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, we're doing good, we're at 47, we can make it out of here. Okay, this is the third time filling it, and this time I gorilla taped it. Let's get a little further down this hill. 
We are on like the biggest hill ever and I just want to get off this hill to change the tire. We only have like a quarter mile to go to get to the road just in case something happens. And I don't want to take the tire off just in case I mess up because this is my first time changing it on here. I mean, that was pointless, but it is filling it up faster than it's leaking, so. This rock is gonna remind me of this adventure. Sweet, got it up to 77. We should be able to get out of here. This is so bad for my shoulder. I really hope we can find someone to help because these tires are too heavy. I'm gonna get injured again. Huh, land, AKA road. Okay, you guys, I just forgot. We are on the loneliest highway in America. So hopefully someone drives by that can help or we don't injure ourselves because my shoulder hurts so much right now. There's an open spot right up there. Let's get it. All right, we're still doing okay. Oh boy. All right, who's ready to change a tire? All right, you guys, so here's what's up. I uh, just tested trying to take the tire off the back and my shoulder is in so much pain, I'm definitely gonna tear it again. <sighs> oh, I just wanna be able to change this. So I called someone in town to see if they could help, uh, just lift it up. And so we are airing back up right now so we can go a mile and a half down the road to Ely again. And this guy, Kim, is gonna help us just do the heavy lifting while we do the jack and everything else. All right, boys, let's get there. Hurry, it's leaking. Ah! I hope this works. Sweet, 91. Hopefully that doesn't freaking pop it. What an adventure, I'm having fun. Yeah, I am. Did we learn our lesson here? Even if you're only going a mile or two, always air down your tires when off-roading. I guess we'll see. <laughs> this is a freaking disaster. Actually, it's pretty incredible how slow it does leak when you're on the highway versus off-roading. I think we're gonna make it. Woo, we're cruising! There it is. Right there. Okay. Thank you for helping. I tore my shoulder climbing oh. a few weeks ago, and so now I can't get this off. Um, but basically this has like a massive gash, but I just have to switch this out. Bryson and Kim to save the day. Are you gonna help him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. We're at KRM Auto Repair in Ely and they're saving me. Look at you go, helper. Found it. Good work, man. <laughs> Something's also been leaking. Thank you. Bam, oh, look at that thing. That's nasty, huh? There are times to be a badass female and then there are times to get help. And today was one of those days where it's a lot smarter to get help because I still have four more weeks of recovery. There you go. I'm gonna tell everybody to say hi to you in the comments. Okay. What do you want them to say? Mm -hmm. Bryson, you're the coolest? Yeah, sure. How do you spell Bryson? B-R-Y-S-O-N. All right. Are we all set? Yeah. Okay, Kim, thank you, this is for you. Bryson, I got something for you too. Thank you. No problem. No, honestly, you guys, thanks so much. You bet. You're the best. Let's talk about what we're doing now. We have 400 miles to go. We are not gonna be doing any off-roading because we don't have a spare now. <laughs> so we're just gonna try to <laughs> keep that okay. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna hightail through. So this area that we're driving through now in Nevada is called the loneliest road in America. I've done two videos here. Part one uh, has everything from burger challenges to sand dunes and ATVing and gorgeous hot springs. And then the second part is closer to here in Ely, where we go to McGill, we meet Keith, we go to a drugstore that is stuck a hundred years behind. It is such a fascinating road trip. You guys have to watch those videos if you haven't watched them yet. I highly recommend it. But because I have showed you this entire road trip, we are going to 
jump cut all the way across Nevada where we get to Reno and to Mercedes. Also, I feel like I just wanna note this because I have had no issues with my tires in years. Um, I love BF Goodrich, I'm gonna keep using BF Goodrich. This is not a brand thing, this is a tire off-roading fluke thing where I did hit a piece of metal or a really sharp rock and it was gonna happen regardless of the tire that I have. So I just wanna make sure that's clear because I really love them and yeah, they're an amazing tire. We're here. I would put money on it's gonna be a brake issue or something like that with the rotors, I don't know. But uh, I guess let's go find out and I'll update you in just a sec. There it goes. To figure it out. All right, so clearly we're not at Mercedes. We're like having some really, really bad luck. We're also having some good luck. So basically, Mercedes computer systems all went down. So that appointment we thought we were gonna have can't happen. <laughs> but an hour from there in Truckee is Sierra Adventure and they are amazing. They always fit me in. And so last minute we're getting the brakes looked at here. Um, well, at least I think it's the brakes. So yeah, I guess let's find out what's going on with this thing. You can see your pad thickness on the back side of the caliper. Uh huh. And so it's always good to check. That's a backing plate and that's pad. So you're very, very low on your pads. So might as well just replace this one. Yeah. Yep. All right, we were right. It is a minor brake issue on one of them. They're gonna check out the leak, but Agile Off-Road and Alcon are doing heaps to make sure that we are taken care of and Sierra can get this fixed. And they're gonna do it in the next few hours. So. I am so happy about that. We're so lucky, uh, but we still have to see what this leak is and how serious that is. But the brake issue is A-OK. -okay. So in the meantime, let's go get the boys some snacks. Actually, you guys check out this line. Apparently this is like the best bakery ever. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are the best. Bye. Oh yeah, this place is only open on Fridays. No wonder. We got a lot of stuff here. It's time to test them out. Treats for the good boys, fresh baked. All right, they told me I pulled a mic and got eight treats for everybody. <laughs> no problem. All right, here we go. We're gonna test these babies out. Oh my goodness. We're gonna start with a sandwich. Apparently they change the menu every single week, so it's never the same. The roasted carrot. Considering carrots are like my favorite food, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. Oh my God. We're gonna try a little bite of all these. Blueberry scone. No wonder that's a staple. The other scone. Are you kidding me? I don't think I've ever been to a bakery or pastry shop and rated every single thing I got 10 out of 10. We love you guys. Bye. Thank bye. you. That's TJ. TJ's the best. Bye bye. Come say hi to bye TJ. Bye bye. Make sure you bye. book with TJ. Bye. All right, here we go. Let's see how it rides. Oh yeah, like new. This feels so good. Um, all right, let's pull over real quick because we got a little talk. Don't worry guys, it's after hours so no one's gonna be parking here. <laughs> Woo, what a couple days, you guys. Uh, but I'm so happy we ended up at Sierra Adventure Vehicles. Honestly, every time I'm here, it's a 10 out of 10 experience. We got the brakes fixed. We got to diagnose what all the other problems were, which are more than a day's work. So we do have to come back. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm so pleased. Like, 
<laughs> they are the best. If you need a shop, especially if you're in the Reno, Sparks, Truckee, Tahoe area, Sierra Adventure Vehicles is definitely the place to go. The guys here are amazing. They do amazing work. They're super straightforward and honest. Um, so just this plug is just to thank you guys because I really love that. But we are going to have to be here for a little bit because we do have to fix more. Uh, so the brakes are done. They actually gave us a spare for now while we're waiting for the other tire to come in. Um, but yeah, moral of the story, if you stay on the pavement, you're not going to be in the shop as much. Uh, but if you are a road warrior like I am and you push the limits further than maybe you should, you're going to be in the shop a lot and you need someone who's good. So we got them. And yeah, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently over the next couple weeks since we're stationary here. I've been dropping some hints about it, but I want to see if any of you guys can guess what we're going to be doing. So leave that in the comments. Anyways, we love you all. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next Friday.